All right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create a good data project using the command line tool and then loading data onto that project. And I'm going to be using a Windows 7 environment and that's a 64-bit version of Windows. So, okay, let's get started. So you want to start by first downloading and then unpacking the um, command line distribution and I went ahead and already did that and you can see the files here and I've actually added a couple directories so yours is not going to look the same as mine and next you want to set your Java home variable to point to your directory where your Java runtime environment is installed and that is actually pretty simple so go ahead and if you haven't already install Java runtime environment it's probably going to install it by default under your program files and then to uh, set it as your Java home variable you want to right click on your my computer I'll go ahead and show you how to do that click properties Within properties, you want to click advanced system settings and then click environmental variables and then scroll down here, click new, and then you just want to add Java Home here. And then you want to do your path here, so whatever the path is to your uh, Java directory where you installed it. And since I've already done this, I'm not going to do this. I'll just show you um, what I did here. Where are you at? And there it is right there. And that concludes step number one. And so in step number two, you will be describing the structure of your data. And you want to start by running this command in the command prompt. And you want to make sure, obviously, you already have your CSV file set up. And you want to make sure your, um, you have headers in that CSV file because this, this command is basically going to pull the headers from your CSV file and pop them into the XML schema. So let me pull up my command prompt here. I'm going to go to the, the good data directory. Go ahead and paste this in here. And I generated my XML file. And I've actually already created the XML file. So let me just go ahead and show you uh, real quickly what it looks like. And I've already made edits to this. I changed the LDM type for the ordered ID to a connection point so everything or all other attributes and facts will link back to this ID and I'm not going to go through this in great detail so uh, please make sure you read or you thoroughly read how to set up the XML configuration file and you can do that by clicking this link here and so that concludes step number two. Now step number three is where I'm going to be actually creating the project and then loading the data onto the project. Basically you can do this step in one step or two. And so since um, I will be creating the project at the same time as loading the data, I've went ahead and combined the two steps. And once you create your project, you only want to do the latter half of this step, which is actually load data. So you want to download these script files, and I combine them into one. And like I said, if you're going to be just loading data, you only want to be using this second script file here. So let me go ahead and show you the uh, script file real quick. So these hash marks obviously just represent comments. So I'm going to be creating the project. I'm going to store a project ID. I'm going to load the date and date and or time dimension. And then I'm going to create a MACL script for that date dimension. I'm going to execute the MACL script. I'm going to load my 
my regular data here and that is just going to be the headers from this CSV file. Then you want to generate your macro script for that, execute the macro script and then finally uh, I'll be finally this will transfer all of the data. So let me go back here. I'm going to copy and paste this command here into the command prompt. And then I have 620 rows of data. So this is going to take a little bit to execute. And that was successful, and that's it. So I'm going to go back to the uh, Good Data website here. And you can see the new project here, Cars Sold. I'm going to click Manage. And you can see that I loaded two data sets today. And if I click on Cars Sold, it's going to show that I actually just uploaded this today, one minute ago. And so now I can just go ahead and begin creating reports, metrics, and dashboards, and I can uh, load more data as necessary. And that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching.